Harley Davidson kicking off a tour unlike any other that it's staged before at least. 33 electric motorcycles are cruising through the streets of New York right now. It's a big promotion for a brand new bike design known as Project Livewire. Customers will have a chance to try the new Harley, which will run on chargeable batteries. So let's get more on this modern take on the classic cruiser. Harley Davidson's chief marketing officer, Mark Hans Richer, joins me now. So 33 bikes in mass, these electric bikes, bikes took off in New York City today. They arrived today across the Manhattan Bridge. Uh, we're in town and we're kicking off. But could people notice just by listening? Come on, everybody loves, <laughs> this is, the, you know, everybody who has a Harley, they love right. the Harley rumble. Mm -hmm. Does this electric bike have that same rumble? It's an electric bike. It doesn't have the same rumble, but it has an equally cool sound. So you described it uh, just before the, this piece started about the uh, you know, fighter jet sound. And that's exactly what it sounds like when it rides by. And it's that emotional impact that you have on people when a Harley rides by. It doesn't have to sound the same, but the emotion has to be there. And that's what it has. It sounds very cool. Okay, you say very cool. Give me an idea. Come on, replicate just a little bit. I don't think I could replicate it, but <laughs> if you can imagine what a fighter jet sounds like taking off from an aircraft carrier, that kind of emotional, that rush, that that uh, that, that thrusting noise, uh, that sound in the air that kind of rips the air apart, that's what it sounds like. Are you going for the traditional Harley rider, or are you going for the more environment, not to say they're not environmentally uh -huh. um, conscious, but more millennials, that, that, that group? Actually, we think the appeal for this uh, is pretty broad. There's, uh, including globally, there, there's an entire uh, generation of people that are uh, looking forward, just as we are, to see where, where the future wants to go and anticipating the need for and desire for these kinds of products. And it's not about changing our old products. Our old products are terrific and we're reinventing those as well. This is just adding to the mix of what Harley can be and what people can appreciate about it and, and the attitude we bring, uh, which many people identify with. Okay, so what kicked off today is basically a test drive. And right. this test drive is gonna go on for quite a while. Um, tell me about that and tell me when the bikes would actually go on sale. Yeah, the Project Livewire experience is uh, we're bringing trucks around the United States starting this year and then next year we'll also come to Europe and we'll have plans uh, beyond that in the future. And it's really to get people the, the experience of riding these. It's not like putting on a turntable and having some attractive people handing out brochures. I mean, we want people to get first-hand experience with these bikes and give us their impressions so we can make them better and make them proper Harleys that also happen to be electric. And just when the video that we're looking at here, this is from this morning, I'm it assuming. Is. This is them riding <laughs> over, uh, is it the 59th Street Bridge? The Manhattan Bridge, yeah. Oh, the Manhattan Bridge. Look at that, pretty sight, huh? Pretty cool. Very cool. I can't First believe, time you ever saw that. Where's the traffic? That's what I want to know. <laughs> so they're, they're making way out of respect. Yeah, right? Um, so this is going to be a long haul until the, the bikes actually go on sale and you're going to be taking yeah. consumer feedback. Um, what are you actually able to, to change in that time from what co consumers say that they'd like to see different in yeah. these test bikes? Yeah. Well, there's a lot to learn. I mean, we don't think there's a proper cool electric motorcycle out there today. And so we need to get the feedback from customers. That's the way we've done it for 111 years. We're, oh, we're a very customer-led company. So when, when they tell us, hey, uh, we'd like to have, we'd like it to feel this way, we'd like to have more capacity, we'd like it to go further, we'd like it to go faster, whatever it is that they are telling us that would make for a proper Harley that happens to be electric, we'll be all ears. And then, and then we'll apply that into our future uh, plans. So you'll really actually take their their suggestions into account. Absolutely, and it, and it may mean that they tell us that there's things we can't develop. So if they say, hey, we want to ride to Sturgis and back on one charge uh, and, and bring 300 pounds with us, that, that'll be probably technologically hard to do. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what they tell us. We're looking forward to the feedback. And you know, there, there goes that saying, if, if we build it, uh, they will come. I'm talking about the charging stations. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is even, even with all the electric cars out there, here in the U.S., we don't have a multitude of charging right. stations across the country. And when people like to ride their Harleys, they like to ride for a long time. Right. How possible is that going to be? I think on one charge it goes 53 miles? Well, these are really developed for demonstration experiences, so these aren't for sale yet. And so what the range will be in the future, if we decide to make it, we'll find out what our customers are asking for. But there's obviously technological limitations. Uh, but we have in the United States and, and emerging all around the world a wonderful network of dealerships that are uh, right off major highways uh, and, and major thoroughfares. 
So if you think about that as an advantage for the brand and, and what kind of experience this might provide in the future, uh, we think that there's an advantage there just in our distribution network to make it a little bit easier for people to go from place to place and, and do it with Harley Davidson. One last question for you. If I want to ride one of these bikes or anybody wants to, how are they going to, how can they get on this list or is there a uh, list? Go to, to, go to the website, uh, find out where the Project Livewire experience is stopping around the U.S. this year and next year in Europe and, uh, and follow the instructions there to uh, figure out how to uh, participate with us and give us your feedback. We're looking forward to it. Okay, Mark Hans Richard, thanks yeah, so thank much. You. It sounds exciting. Yeah, it's great talking to you. Thanks, thanks for, for being having here. us.